Welcome to Beginner Sabbath School. I am Miss Inga and I am your teacher today. Have you assembled your child's worship bin? Let's do that now if you haven't done it already. You will need some tapping sticks. I like to use some unsharpened pencils. Another instrument is always fun. So if you have a bell or a tambourine or something else, a plastic bowl with some coins we use during our offering time. And if coins um, are too dangerous, just get some card, big giant cardboard circles for coins. A Bible a stuffed animal. In this story, we prefer a lamb, but if you've got a puppy or whatever you have, that will work fine. And a car, a toy car. Shall we begin? Good morning, boys and girls. I'm so happy to see you today. Let's sing our good morning songs while we tap our sticks, okay? Good morning, good morning. We're happy, so happy to see you today. You have your sticks? Let's tap and sing. Good morning, good morning, good morning, we say. We're happy, so happy to see you today. Do you know what time it is? Let's see what the clock says. Can you say that with me? Tick tock, tick tock. Now can you tap your sticks as we say it? Tick tock, tick tock. That's what the clock says. And the clock says it's time for Sabbath school. Shall we listen and sing? This is what the clock says. Tick tock, tick tock. This is what the clock says. Tick tock, tick tock. This is what the clock says. Tick tock, tick tock. Come to Sabbath school at half past 11 o'clock. Let's sing. This is what the clock says. Tick tock, tick tock. This is what the clock says. Tick tock, tick tock. This is what the clock says. Tick tock, tick tock, come to Sabbath school at half past 11 o'clock. God made the Sabbath day the happiest day of all. That's why I love every Sabbath. We're going to sing our song, Sabbath is a Happy Day. And we sing this in my family every Sabbath. And my kids are a lot bigger, but we still sing this song because we love it so much. Sabbath is a happy day, happy day, happy day. Sabbath is a happy day. I love every Sabbath. Can you clap? Sabbath is a happy day, happy day, happy day. Sabbath is a happy day. I love every Sabbath. Yay, it's Sabbath. Are you glad you came to Sabbath school? I am. We're going to sing our song, I'm glad I came to Sabbath school. And if you have a bell or another instrument, you can use that now. I'm glad I came to Sabbath school. I'm glad I came to Sabbath school. I'm glad I came to Sabbath school on this bright Sabbath morning. Can you sing and play? I'm glad I came to Sabbath school. I'm glad I came to Sabbath school. I'm glad I came to Sabbath school on this bright Sabbath morning. Mm -hmm. 
Well, it is time now in our program to bring our offering to Jesus. And we're going to sing our song, Hear the Money Dropping. Do you have your money and your bowl? I want you to put your money in your bowl, okay? And it's fun to hear it drop, isn't it? Let's listen. Hear the money dropping. Listen while it falls. Every piece for Jesus, he will get it all. Dropping, 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 dropping. Hear the money fall. Every piece for Jesus, he will get it all. Can we do that again? Hear the money dropping. Listen as it falls. Every piece for Jesus, he will get it all. Dropping, 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 hear the money fall. Every piece for Jesus, he will get it all. It's time to pray. Can you close your eyes and fold your hands? Holy Father, I thank you for bringing all of us here to Sabbath School today. I thank you for every mommy and daddy or grandma and grandpa and for all the children that have come. I pray that each person would get a special blessing today. We love you. We thank you for Jesus. May your Holy Spirit be our teacher. In Jesus' name, amen. The Bible is God's special book. That's where you can find our story today. I know it's a really big book, but someday you're going to be able to read and you're going to read your Bible all for yourself. And but now we can look at the pictures and we can handle it very, very carefully. OK, so we're going to sing our song, The Bible. That's the book for me. So as we sing the song, I want you to hold up your Bible when we say B-I-B-L-E. The B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God. The B-I-B-L-E. Shall we sing? The B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God. The B-I-B-L-E. Okay. Well, the Bible is where you can find our Bible story for today. And our Bible story reminds me of a very special Bible verse, Colossians 3, verse 20, which says, children, obey your parents in everything. Can you say that with me? Children, obey your parents in everything. Colossians 3, verse 20. Our Bible story is called Little David, the shepherd boy. When we follow God's ways, we can make our homes happy. And we're going to see how David made his home happy by being a very special helper. Let's sing our song, God's Ways. And as we sing, we are going to tap our sticks. I'll make my home a happy home by following God's ways. If I am kind and loving there, we shall have happy days. I'll make my home a happy home by following God's ways. If I am kind and loving there, we shall have happy days.
David was a shepherd boy. That means it was his job to take care of his father's sheep. <laughs> hey, Lambert. <laughs> Lambert's with us today. There were big sheep and little sheep in the flock. Baby sheep are called lambs. Jesus made lambs feel soft and wooly. Oh, Lambert likes that, don't you? I want you to find your lamb. Will you be a shepherd like David? We're going to pet our little lambs as we sing wooly, wooly lamb. Wooly, wooly lamb. Jesus made you soft and wooly. Wooly, wooly lamb. Jesus made you soft and wooly. Can you pet your lamb or your stuffed animal? Wooly, wooly lamb. Wooly, wooly lamb. Jesus made you soft and wooly. Wooly, wooly lamb. Wooly, wooly lamb. Jesus made you soft and wooly. Lambert really enjoyed that, didn't you? All right. Well, David loved his family and their sheep. The sheep must have loved David too. When he called, they came running. Let's see who else comes running when their mommies call. Okay, we're going to sing our song when a mother calls. Okay, and let's listen first. And then we're going to sing the second part that says when a mother says come here, who comes running? When your mommy says who comes here, who's supposed to run? You're supposed to come running, okay? So you're going to go to the back of the room. And when mommy calls, you're going to come running. Okay, let's listen. When a mother says, come here, who comes running? Who comes running? When a mother says, come here, all the little children come running. All right, stand at the back. When a mother says, come here, who comes running? Who comes running? When a mother says, come here, all the little children come running. Did you come running? I hope so. When a mother says, come here, all the little children come running. Let's try it again. When a mother says, come here, who comes running? Who comes running? When a mother says, come here, all the little children come running. Oh, good job, little runners. We have so much to be happy for, our families, our pets, all the pretty flowers. We're going to sing, I'm so happy. And before we sing, uh, mommy is going to hide your stuffed animal, okay? So mommy, I'm going to give you some time as we listen. And as we listen first, little one, I want you to close your eyes and mommy's going to hide your stuffed animal or your little lamb, okay? And I want you to find it when we start singing, okay? So close your little eyes, okay? Until I tell you to open your eyes. Keep your eyes closed. Mommy's going to hide your stuffed animal or daddy might do it if he's with you. Maybe grandma, grandpa. Keep your eyes closed. Keep your eyes closed. Okay, time to open them. Go find it. 
Oh, I am so happy, as happy as can be. For I have a puppy dog that Jesus made for me. That's a cute song, isn't it? All of those lovely things we have that make us so happy. Did you find your little stuffy? I hope so. You know what? Jesus kept, I'm sorry, David kept very good track of his sheep. He would take them out to eat grass and they loved all that green grass. And when they got thirsty, he would show them where to drink fresh water. He took very good care of his sheep. We're going to sing about the good shepherd and how he takes care of his sheep. Do you have your stuffed, your stuffed sheep, your stuffed lamb? Here's my lamb bird. I want you to pretend and feed them, okay? While we sing. The Good Shepherd watches so sheep may safely feed. He keeps them from danger and gives them all they need. Feed your sheep. The Good Shepherd watches so sheep may safely feed. He keeps them from danger and gives them all they need. Lambert enjoyed his little snack, didn't you? Okay. Being a shepherd means you get to walk a lot outside. Let's go for a walk today, shall we? We're going to sing our song and even now you can start walking around, okay? So we're going to walk around the room and see what we find. Shall we go for a walk today? A walk today, a walk today. Shall we go for a walk today and see what God has given? Lambert, where are you going? Shall we go for a walk today? A walk today, a walk today. Shall we go for a walk today? and see what God has given. Let's see. Let's see, Lambert found something very, very interesting. I don't know, you can't really see it very well, can you? But it's got antennas and it's got wings. He found a butterfly, didn't you? Do you like to see the butterflies? I do. Butterflies are so pretty and I love how they flap their wings and fly. And we're gonna pretend that we are butterflies. So you get to cross your hands like this and wave them, okay? Or you can do it like this, whichever way feels comfortable for you, okay? Or maybe you just flap your arms, all right? Whichever way is fine for you. I like to see the butterflies flying high, flying low. I like to see the butterflies. Jesus made them, I know. Mommy or daddy, can you pick them up? That would be so fun for them. I like to see the butterflies fly high, flying high, flying low. I like to see the butterflies. Jesus made them, I know. That's a fun song. Miss Inga used to um, have her little one fly around every time we sing that song. It was so fun. All right. Well, Jesus gave you a family too, just like David had a family. You have parents who love you very much. You may also have a brother or sister who loves you very much too. And when we invite Jesus into our family, we can have a happy, 
happy home. Let's sing that with Jesus and the family. Happy, happy home. With Jesus and the family. Happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. I want you to use your bell or other instrument to play along, okay? With Jesus in the family, happy, happy home, happy, happy home, happy, happy home. With Jesus in the family, happy, happy home, happy, happy home. Okay. Because you are part of a family, you have special little jobs to do in your home. Everybody helps in the family. One of your jobs is to obey. Because we love mommies and daddies, we obey them. And one special way we can be big helpers at home is to pick up our toys and put them away. I want you to find your car and let me find mine. Hold on a moment. Oh, I found it. I had to pick up my car. Vroom, vroom. And I want you to put it away, okay? So what I want you to do actually is empty out your whole worship bin, okay? But be very gentle with your Bible, okay? We always treat our Bible nicely. But empty out your worship bin, and I want you to put everything back, okay, as we sing. I'll pick up my toys and put them away. Pick up my toys, vroom, vroom, and put them away. I make Jesus happy and help mommy too when I put my toys away. All right, pick up your toys. I'll pick up my toys and put them away. Pick up my toys put them away. I make Jesus happy and help mommy too when I put my toys away. Did you get all your toys picked up? Good job. When we help mommy and daddy, we are also helping Jesus. Are you Jesus's special helper? We're going to sing our song, Who is Jesus' Helper? Every time we say, I am, I want you to point to yourself. I am, I am. Can you point to yourself? Let's listen. Who is Jesus' helper? doing all he can. I am Jesus helper, tiny though I am. Who is Jesus helper, doing all he can. I am, I am Jesus helper, tiny though I am. Good. I'm so happy to know there are lots of helpers for Jesus. It is story time. We're going to sing our story time song. And as we do, I want you to find a nice place to sit down and listen carefully, okay? Story time is here. Story time is here. Let us listen very, very quietly. Story. Story time is here, story time is here. Let us listen very, very quietly. Shh. Our Bible story is called Little David the Shepherd Boy. Let's go. Let's go, 
called little David the shepherd boy to his sheep. Wooly sheep lifted his head from the grass. <sighs> he heard shepherd boy David's call. It was time to keep moving and follow David. All the sheep came together to shepherd boy David. They trusted him. He always took them to another safe grassy area with yummy grass to eat. He led them to slow moving water to drink. He was a good shepherd. Little David, the shepherd boy, loved his job he did for his family, taking care of all the family sheep. Sheep were gentle, loving creatures. David sat with them on the grass. The sheep would come for David to pet them. After a long day of walking on grass, David would bring the sheep back to the sheepfold to keep them safe at night. As they came in, he would count them to make sure they were all there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, hmm, 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 ninety-eight, ninety-nine. Uh-oh. If any little sheep was missing, David would go out in the night to look for the sheep and bring it back home. David would also look out for the sheep. Go away, bear, David said as he waved his staff and bear ran away. To help the sheep stay calm and to spend time with God, David would play his harp and sing praises to God. He knew God was his good shepherd that always took care of him. Did you know that you are God's children? Children are very important to God. David was important to God and you are important to God. Being a child of God means that we are helpful, we obey, we are friendly, happy, and kind. By obeying and being kind, you can shine for Jesus like a sunbeam. We're going to sing our song, Jesus Wants Me for a Sunbeam. And as we sing, I want you to make like a sun around your face. Can you do this? Jesus wants me for a sunbeam. Can you shine bright? In every way we can please him at home, at school, at play. Jesus wants me for a sunbeam. I'll be a sunbeam for him. I know you're a sunbeam. Can you open your hands wide? All right, let's shine for Jesus. Jesus wants me for a sunbeam to shine for him each day. In every way, try to please him at home, at school, at play. A sunbeam, a sunbeam. Jesus wants me for a sunbeam, a sunbeam, a sunbeam. I'll be a sunbeam for him. Well, it's time for our Sabbath school to end. And it's time to go home or go on with our day. Sure, there are lots of fun things you can do this Sabbath, especially outside if you can go outside and explore nature. Can you wave? Our Sabbath school is over and we are going home. Goodbye, goodbye. Be always kind and true. Goodbye, goodbye. Be always kind and true.
Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, what a great blessing it is to be um, to be like your sheep, that you are our shepherd. I pray that each little boy and girl would know that you take care of them, that you are watching over them, that you never sleep, Lord, so you can keep them safe. Please help mommies and daddies know that you will carry them through with all the burdens that they carry, that you carry them. We love you and we thank you so much for Jesus, our good shepherd. In his name we pray, amen. Goodbye. Oh, someone else wants to say bye. Lambert. Hi, Lambert. You want to say bye? Okay. Goodbye.